Anime Showdown has finally been released. And after seeing numerous YouTubers milk it dry, you must be salivating to finally get in and play the game. Sadly, there is a small catch. For a limited amount of time, the game will be in paid access for 200 Robux. I'm not gonna cap. If you got hella Robux lying around, I won't hesitate to buy early access. Heck, why are you even watching this video? Go buy and play the game already. However, if Robux is a rare commodity, let me give you all the details before you decide to purchase this game. So, here's what you get at face value. One code that gives you 10,000 coins and 1,000 gems. They say that it's worth 3,000 Robux in currency, and I've gone in game and confirmed that. The other benefit is of course getting early access to the game. The devs have said that free release will come after update 1 or 2, which could take 2 to 3 months, and as of right now, that's a lot of time. But if you guys are watching this later, I would check to see if they have provided any updates on the release date. I feel like the real deciding factor for most of you guys is the code given upon release, so let's break that down. Currently there are 10 characters in the game, 7 which are roster characters, and 3 which are miscellaneous. Let me just clear up miscellaneous characters if you don't know that concept before, it just means that there aren't going to be any more you know, characters from that anime that the character originate from. Anyways, the roster characters cost anywhere from 2k to 3k coins, and so far each miss character is costing you 100 gems. And you'll also get a starter character which is gone. With the code you can probably get 3 to 4 characters from the roster, it really depends on if you get the expensive ones or the cheap ones, so that's up to you to decide and all the showcases are up, so pick the character that you like the most. And all the missed characters you can get with the gems because they're only 3 and each cost 100 so you, you know, spend 300 gems, got 700 spare, which is really nice. So you already have like a good amount of characters to start the game off with. Okay, let's go into like if grinding currency is hard now. So since the game just came out, I can only give an estimate on how hard it is to grind either currency. But I believe you get 100 coins and 5 gems per level and 25 to 100 coins in public lobbies, obviously dependent on how good you do, very similar to ABA and for that matter. Rank matches also seem to not have a fixed amount because I'm pretty sure they're based off damage, but you generally get 80 to 90 coins. You can also use coins and gems to buy skins, but I'm not really going to delve into that. Most of that stuff's also a work in progress that so I don't even know all the details. So gems are the real value in this code because I believe the only way to get them is when you get quests for them, yeah, which you get daily quests by the way, and leveling up. And keep in mind, leveling up only gives you 5 gems, so saving up gems is going to take a while. And also, the 1000 gems are equivalent to 2000 robux, so the gems are really the ma major value in this code. So overall, buying the game just for this early reward seems plenty worth it to me. Having a few characters to play at the start will only improve your experience. There's also a possibility of more codes dropping as a developer just released a code for a thousand coins due to shutdown. So if you buy the game right now, the devs are probably going to be releasing codes here and there. Granted they won't be as big as the release codes, but like that extra amount of gems and coins and experience is already going to be worth it. So I'd recommend, you know, buy the game as soon as possible if you do decide to buy it. And yeah, that's pretty much all the information I have as of recording this video. And I gotta say, the game is 100% worth it. The combat feels smooth and responsive. The characters, animations, and moves look really nice. Plus, the updates are already confirmed, so I highly doubt that this game dies out. And even if it does, you know, Infernasa will keep it alive. And I'd also have to say that my computer is an absolute potato, so for those who have lower end PCs, if my computer can run it, most likely yours can too. So unless you really don't have that much Robux on you, or it's really close to release, you know, I would just say to buy it. But at the end of the day, it is your decision, and I hope I gave you enough information so you can decide. That's all for the video, see you guys for the next one.